My name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mike Onslow of the British Army. I'm the commander of the British Army training areas in Germany. Our responsibility here is to maintain a safe place in order to allow the soldiers to train in preparation for operations, whatever they may be, wherever they are in the world. I was um, one of five children um, and uh, born in the south of England. Um, we lived in the south of England for a long time. I joined the army in 1981 and then um, went to Sandhurst in 1985 after university. I've been in the army ever since uh, and since then I've been able to serve um, quite extensively around the world from uh, on operations in Northern Ireland, Iraq, Afghanistan, but also training in Namibia, um, in Kenya, Canada, Belize. I've also been part of Hong Kong and the handover of Hong Kong into the People's Republic of China in 1997 and um, have served in a NATO appointment in uh, Milan and also um, in an interoperability job in Washington DC. Our home is where my wife is. Uh, we've had 28 homes um, in the time that we've been married, and so it's very definitely where my wife and family are. The Senna, for me, is an extraordinarily beautiful place. It's a very practical place as far as we can use it um, as a training area, and as a result of the fact it's been used for a training area since 1870, um, and it is, the environment has been managed um, in conjunction with the Bundesforst uh, and the federal authorities with the advice and guidance from the biological station Christ uh, Paderborn Senna um, and also through the Berserker Region Detmold. So the uh, numbers of people who are involved in the running of the Senna on the environmental side um, is quite large and we're also able to uh, get a lot of benefit uh, from subject matter experts in particular areas whether it's flora or fauna, grasses or amphibians or birds or whatever um, and they give their time for free which is remarkable. Happiness really um, is using um, the elements I think um, to your advantage. So I'm a sailor, um, I'm a skier um, and using the elements um, to achieve a little bit of an adrenaline rush um, is certainly what uh, fires my rocket. Um, inefficiency, I think, uh, generates unhappiness, um, and that's perhaps a very military approach to life. Um, but really, at the end of the day, inefficiency, whether or not it's in the way things are made, i.e. poor design, uh, or the way that people operate, um, so they're not reaching their full potential or contributing to a team. So when you're playing a team sport, for example, um, and you have a member of that team who is not pulling his weight, um, that causes a degree of unhappiness. people every single time. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's the people. The interaction with the people, the way you respond to the people, the way they respond back to you, um, and feeling that you can actually achieve a difference um, in whatever project you're taking on. Nothing, it's a fantastic opportunity. Rats. To do it again. I think, um, straight off the cuff, uh, I wouldn't mind being my dog, but a better trained version of it. I think we're in such a hugely developing, quickly developing, uh, multifaceted environment um, that the one thing is that really ought to change, or has to change, is the way that people view other people. There are too many folk out there who are focusing on themselves too much and not really realizing the impact that that selfish approach has on the rest of the billions of people on the planet. <clears throat> I'm not sufficiently down the God reach to believe that it was done at a single stroke, um, but I do believe that uh, evolution and the way that it has uh, come forward over the billions of years um, has arrived. Critical mass achieved critical mass in a certain way um, and we are where we are and we're heading where we're heading.
nothing. Hopefully, there'll be some people who might regret my passing. Probably, there won't. However, I will just be another person who has left a little footprint on the world, and I hope that's a positive one. As far as I'm concerned, um, there is nothing after death. I provide her food, she provides me company, I provide her the opportunity to do what she uh, likes doing, and she single-mindedly single ignores my wishes to go and do it. She trusts me, I want to grip her by the windpipe, and at the end of the day, um, she has been a great companion.